Hello people, how are you doing? Hope you're well. My video for today is Men of the Bible series and the case study is Steven. Hi guys, hope you are okay. My video for today is Men of the Bible series and the case study is Stephen. And I will take you through the life of Stephen, the time he was chosen to be a deacon, his testimony and it goes like this. Stephen is first mentioned in Acts chapter 6 verse 5 as part of the group of men chosen to be deacons and I'll take you through this verse this proposal pleased the whole group they chose Stephen a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit also Philip Prochorus Nicanor Timon Paminas and Nicholas from Antioch a convert to Judaism and um, they formed the deacons in order to cater some of the problems that were there. For example, the neglect of the Greek widows in the, the, to take care of them. Yeah, and um, I'll take you through the testimony of Stephen, and it goes like this: Stephen used his role to demonstrate wonders and miracles among the people for example healing the sick um mostly healing the sick and yeah and he contended for the faith with those that were that were ultra liberal in their beliefs you know Stephen argued with th those that were that were strong that were had strong uh, beliefs in Judaism and uh, he was cutting through the weak arguments using godly use wisdom provided by the Holy Spirit so Stephen was able to to win their arguments through the, the power of the Holy Spirit he was able to convince them about how Jesus fulfilled the, the scriptures and um, they conspired to lie about him and he, they stirred up the people and members of the synagogue they, they, they told they told the they, they thought that he was insane that he was blaspheming against God by uh, talking beliefs that are contrary to Judaism and uh, the, their conspiracy resulted in Stephen being taken into custody and he was brought before the council and he was charged, charged with blasphemy so these days they, they wanted Stephen to go before the Sanhedrin to be charged with, with blasphemy uh, and uh, he was arrested and so they brought in false witnesses to testify against him you know the, the, the people used that same technique when Jesus was taken into custody before the Sanhedrin and uh, they used the false witnesses to testify against him and it was the same technique that it was was used against Stephen and so Stephen explained to them how God fulfilled the promises that he made to Abraham when Abraham was alive and when God called him to to leave his native country and to go to the land of Canaan and so 
God fulfilled the promises he made to Abraham uh, and uh, he also showed them what it looks like the promise of the coming Messiah how it was pre prevented but God intervened uh, for example during the time when Jesus was born and Herod wanted to kill uh, to kill Jesus a bit uh, so he killed uh, two-year-old babies so that the prophecy will not be fulfilled but God had to intervene in that situation by telling uh, Joseph to go to Egypt so that Herod would not find him and uh, he also told how Jesus fulfilled God's promises he explained to them how Jesus brought salvation to humanity how Jesus was able to to conquer sin by dying on the cross how Jesus healed the sick raised the dead uh, exorcised demons from people amongst other miracles that Jesus did while on earth and uh, he also told them how uh, the Jewish the Jews resisted the Holy Spirit's conviction like their, fa their forefathers resisting the prophets preaching of Jesus coming so he told them that uh, they have rejected Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior uh, by persecuting his by persecuting him and having him uh, die uh, be, being crucified and uh, he also told them that their, fa their forefathers also persecuted the prophets in Jerusalem and yeah he also told them that they they killed and they betrayed the just one he told them that they they killed him by crucifying him on the cross and how they betrayed him by uh, one of his disciples Judas Iscariot betraying him with a kiss and uh, how they persecuted him so much insulting him yeah and uh, when the council and the others heard of it they were, offend they were offended and they insulted him and uh, Stephen under the influence of the Holy Spirit uh, he looked up to to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at God's right hand when the Holy Spirit comes upon you you're able to see signs and wonders the Holy Spirit is one who gives you visions of how heaven looks like and so the Holy Spirit was able to give Stephen visions of Jesus sitting at the right hand of God while facing persecution by the Jews and the council and uh, as the Jews were attacking him they dragged him outside the city and stoned him to death while he was being stoned to death Stephen Stephen prayed he, he said like this Lord Jesus receive my spirit and uh, he also said Lord lay not their sin to their charge after he said that he he died hope you've learned something from this story if you've learned something from this video comment down below and bye